Could, Are you sure they don't do sacrifices at Bohemian No, Grove? they don't do anything like that. Is that Have you it, seen Alex Jones' documentary about Alex Bohemian Jones? Grove? Look, I, I, some of these Alex Jones is an asshole. He's an asshole on the left. I like some of the stuff Alex Jones says, you know, because I'm a conspiracy nut too, like it. But Alex Jones really <laughs> screwed up. You're a conspiracy nut. Uh, uh, you just made fun of Chris Mellon for calling you a conspiracy nut. You just called yourself a conspiracy nut. I am a conspiracy nut, but, but, but anybody who isn't a conspiracy nut is just stupid. <laughs> you got to be stupid not to be a conspiracy nut these days because it couldn't be worse. You know, everything you think is bad, it's worse than you think What's it is. What's the difference between a conspiracy theory and the truth? Do you know? Not much. Six Any, months. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, right, right. So what we talk about, okay, the Grove. Okay, for Alex Jones basically screwed up on the Sandy Hook thing. That oh, yeah, dumb. big time. That was dumb. That was real. I don't know how he'd be so stupid. I like him as a personality. You know, I like him. but uh, And then he screwed up on the Bohemian Grove. That's stupid. I've been to Bohemian Grove many times, and it's it's just like me being in a London club. with my, It's a bunch of basically old guys like me. Okay, old guys like me who are relaxing because they, they feel safe. Okay. And then they have a few guys like you, up and coming, you know, and and you know, and hedge fund guys, and you know, rich, a lot of them are rich and powerful, you know, and like Henry Kissinger, you know, and then George Bush when he was at. There's this whole camp where it's all, like Robert Gates, defense intelligence uh, heads of the CIA, admirals, the four stars. They have their own camp. We could go. I can go in there and talk to them if I want. You know, everything is very friendly. On the, you know, the, you know, that. Oh, oh, the, we go there, and this is beautiful, like night, a summer night. They have like a thousand people there, tables, out, you know, dinners, and these young people. They have these beautiful young waitresses and. And young men like you, you know, who are like making, you know, they had summer jobs, college kids, you know, stuff like that, who are the waiters and stuff like that. And they... So they sex they, slaves? No, no, none of that. In fact, these guys couldn't get it up anyway when they got sex slaves. <laughs> so, I don't know if, if Viagra would help them. <sighs> they're not, no, they're not. That's you ever not, seen Obama there? I don't think they let Obama in. They wouldn't let Clinton in. They don't like Clinton. Really? Oh, no, Clinton would not be made a member. They, they, For some reason, I was told Clinton, probably not, okay. by some of the top guys. You know, I don't know what they have against Clinton. No, Clinton wasn't there. Clinton was a straight shooter. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe the guys I just spoke to didn't like, well, maybe they were Republicans. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if Obama's been there or not. It's a good question. No, but the people go to Kissinger, you know, Bloomberg, Bloomberg, uh, uh, what are some of the who are some of the other guys? Um, George Soros. I don't think they like George Soros much. I don't know. I don't know if Soros. That's a good question. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know that much who go mm. who's been there. But let me put it there. Okay, being at the Grove is like when I was at Cornell at sixteen, coming in on the Cornell special with the band. It being at the Grove at times is like being back in the fifties. They, they have these plays, they have these performances, and everybody, the, the orchestras, everything, the <clears throat> opera, everything is done by members. They have a lot of talented people from Hollywood, from Broadway, very famous rock stars come, you know? Wow. Okay. And and it's very patriotic. We go, it was just like when I was back at Cornell. So we go up there, there's this big, whoops, sorry, big amphitheater, and they're putting on a play, a show, and they play the Star Spangled. Everybody gets up, and we pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. These women, this is, your families are there. It's all very American. It's all Norman Rockwell, you know, and the and the, and the bands and mm -hmm. those old guys and the American flags and you know, and then they they play. Then they play all the Ivy. Then they the Stanford song, the Berkeley song, the Cornell right. song, the uh, you know the uh, Harvard, <clears throat> yeah, Yale. Mm -hmm. and these are all Ivy League people. These are guys I knew back at Cornell. They're all you go from you go from the Ivy League you go to the Bohemian Grove. Mm -hmm. You know, if you made money, okay. They have two classes of of uh, they have two classes of members. If I would have, if my friend hadn't died, and if I hadn't been busy, I could have become what's called the Bohem a real Bohemian, a creative member. The creative members, they don't have to pay anything. You pay your bill, your bar bill, and you know you you, you, you still have that money. But a a guy like Kissinger. He'll pay like thirty thousand dollars a year just dues, 
or maybe fifty, maybe it's fifty, but it's it's a lot of money, and they were hurt by COVID. Okay, a lot, of, and and now those are the rich guys, or the rich bohemians, the professors, the creative, yeah, you know, maybe the movie star. Well, it depends if they have money. They, they you know, it, it all depends. Mm -hmm. But they will let you in. Like my friend had some money, but my friend, my mentor, who was a top <laughs> guy, he was a creative member, but he took care of the Grove. I mean, he spent. In other words, you put your time in. You do, you know, you do something that the club needs. You, you, you make sure everything's running on time. You know, you work for the club. You do sets. You do in the band if they're doing a show, and you paint the set. You act. You know, you put in your time, and and you know, you don't have to pay the yearly dues. You keep the club running and creative. They're very creative. It sounds like Scientology, kind of. No, it's not. Sci nothing like Scientology. It's just like Scientology. That's no. exactly how Scientology works. No, except they have, they, they, you're talking about, who are some of the big rock stars that are there? Yeah. Mick well, Jagger? Well, I don't know if he was there, but... Uh, Alice uh, Cooper? Yeah, well, I don't know, but who are the, some of the American ones? Those guys, oh, American. Oh, who are the Broadway, who's the Sontag, guys like that. You know, oh, okay. They, you know, they, mm -hmm. they put on, before, this is pre-COVID. Michael but, Jackson? Michael Jackson. No, these are, you know, they, I don't think so. But what's his name? But uh, but you talk to John Warner, mm -hmm. you know, to Senator Warner, you know, he would come there, you know, uh, Richard Nixon, you know, mm -hmm. Oppenheimer, a lot of, you know, a lot of yeah. Berkeley professors. Uh, no, they put on shows, they do original scripts, they put mm -hmm. on shows that are Broadway quality shows. Wow. That, okay. They put on 30 to 50 a year. Okay. And they do it one night. Everything's done by members of the Grove, okay? They put it on, and then I think they do some, they have an official photographer. You can't, no cell phone, nothing like that. And it's just done, okay? Okay, and that takes a lot of effort. And they have lectures by, you know, top, Robert Gates, mm. you, you know, top, top, uh, top intellectuals come. Mm. It's like, a, it's like Chautauqua, it's like a university. You go there in the encampment and you have, it's like going back to college. Mm -hmm. They have top people all over the world. You know, uh, 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 Prince Philip was there. Prince Philip would come. Prince Philip was like an honorary member. You know, the, the husband of the queen mm -hmm. of England. You know, and I think Charles has been there. I think Charles comes. He's come in the past. I don't know if he will now. No, it's very. What about uh, Andrew? What? What about Andrew? I don't know if Andrew was ever there, but uh, I, I'm not sure. That's a, I don't know. I never heard anybody talk about Andrew. Okay. But I know uh, Charles was there and Philip would okay. used to come there. Nixon, Nixon. No, and it's all very straight. It's all very proper. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So, oh, all right. So one of the things is, that's why Alex Jones is full of shit. Because at 9 o'clock, when they do have women there on weekends, a special weekend, women come, the wives come. At 9 o'clock, they all have, they have these uh, GM trucks. Open. They all have, 9 o'clock, all the security guards come to all the camps and the women have to get on. They, the women stay outside the camp. They have, you know, various inns and motels surrounding the grove. And that's where women, after 9 o'clock, there's a 9 o'clock curfew. No women. No women after 9 o'clock? No women after 9 o'clock. Only young boys? No, it's, no, yeah, it's none of that. I was there. I was walking around all the time. <laughs> I saw... The, everything no it's 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 guys drinking yeah they drink they they, they they like to they sit they'll pee on the you know people pee, you know they don't have to go to the bed you know, just, you know from yeah they get drunk it's it like, sounds so weird no it's a fraternity if you ever you see you have you you see oh you've never been to college. i know so i went to an ivy league school it's fraternity it's like the a fr fraternity for super powerful billionaires it's a, that it's what these are all arrested development yeah these are super power the people who run the world not just it's like dabble yeah, these guys, these are the big These are the bankers. people that run the world, that go to the woods and they kick the women out at nine o'clock. That's they, right. That's right, but it's, it's fun. It's a, because they, they are back. It's arrested development, yes. They are back. Sounds in very culty. Well, I'm a cult. Very cult. It's fun. Yeah. I mean, it's fun. It's like I'm back. I, 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 it's an 80-year-old guy who feels like he's 20. <laughs> he's back in college. He's back. Woo! He's back in the 50s. It's very innocent. Yeah. It's very, there's not, there's no, and by the way, because my guy, my guy, he's like, a, he's in charge of the cops. You know what they got there? They got their own police force. They got ex Navy SEALs, mm -hmm. FBI, uh, California Highway Patrol. They have a private army there. Wow. 
you know, they have like, you know, because, you know, it could be, they have helicopters, they got everything, they got, you know, they got, uh, they got mm-hmm. you know, machine guns there. They got, pro- and my guy was one of the six in charge of the military there. And he's a straight guy. He's a, these are mm. Marines guys. These are Semper Fi. These guys, these are old school guys. They're not going to put them in any bullshit. Mm-hmm. In fact, there was some guy who said, and then they just threw him out. There's no Epstein type stuff going on at the Bohemian Okay, Grove. I'll take your word for it. I mean, I know. Cause I, okay. I speak, this is fine because I, I was there. Okay, and I know what, you know, I, I know that much. So that's all, so that's all libel. So I'm defending the Grove. Yeah, so okay. actually I'm defending. You're on any, record defending uh, yeah, the Grove. <clears throat> yeah. Anything that Alex Jones and some other assholes, left wing, you know, bullshit, fuck them. They're full of shit. They're liars. That's not what happens. Okay. There. <laughs>